Many parents give their children vitamins, but for Julie and Steve, they have added significance. They both suffer from multiple sclerosis, and fearing that Thomas has inherited a genetic time bomb, they sought medical advice and were told to give him vitamin D. New research strongly suggests the vitamin reduces the risk of the debilitating and incurable disease. We're going to basically do anything we can to stop him getting MS, and that's one of the things that they're thinking of at the moment might have a link. Scientists at Oxford University found vitamin D helps to control a gene carried by 60% of people with MS. If levels of the vitamin are too low during pregnancy and early life, the gene malfunctions, raising the risk of the child developing the disease as an adult. I think that the public health implications are potentially very exciting in that our work adds to a substantial body of evidence from a number of large epidemiological studies to suggest, to suggest that vitamin D and levels of vitamin D in the body may be very important in a number of different diseases, including multiple sclerosis. The further north you live, the weaker the sunshine and the higher your risk of multiple sclerosis. And scientists have long suspected that's down to the amount of vitamin D you make in your skin. And if the sun isn't strong enough, supplements of vitamin D become all the more important. The MS Society says they're cheap, safe and likely to be highly effective. It will do you no harm and may well do you a lot of good if, uh, if there's a family history of MS, if uh, the mother has vitamin D su uh, supplements, for example, during pregnancy. <laughs> Julie and Steve have high hopes for vitamin D. Modern medicine can do little to help them, but a simple vitamin could stop Thomas developing one of the most common disabling diseases. Thomas Moore, Sky News.